Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today, we're gonna to talk about TV wall mount brackets. And we're gonna talk about two different types. We're gonna talk about stationary or fixed wall mount brackets and full motion TV wall mount brackets. And we're gonna tell you which one you should choose and which one you should avoid. <laughs> and guys, do me a huge favor. Make sure to smash that thumbs up button and leave a quick comment. By doing this, this helps with the YouTube algorithm. Thanks. So first, let's take a look at this TV wall mount right here. This is a stationary wall mount. Once the TV is connected to the wall mount, well, you're pretty much done. There's no adjustments. And herein lies the problem. Because the TV is now connected to the wall and cannot move, there's no way to adjust this TV vertically or horizontally. No swivel, doesn't come out. And to me, that's a deal breaker. Because if you want to sit down somewhere and watch this TV, well, you're stuck with this viewing angle. You can't move it out and adjust it. Another big issue with these types of wall mounts is connecting all the wires. Once again, because this is stationary, it's hard to get back here to connect the wires. As you can see, these wires just kind of fall down. It's hard to even like put them back up here or connect them back here. You just kind of jam it up there and they just kind of fall down. All in all, it looks terrible and it's not functional. So once again, these low profile stationary wall mounts pretty much suck. The only benefit to this kind of wall mount is the price. They're very cheap. And we'll have links in the video showing the prices for these wall mounts. But the second choice you have is to buy a full motion wall mount. They're a little more expensive. They also allow the TV to move out and back in. And as a bonus, connecting these wires back here is very easy. And because it's full motion, these wires can hang on the motion bar in the back. So they're not hanging down like this. So a full motion wall mount has all the benefits that a stationary wall mount does not have. The only downside is the price, but they're about maybe 50 bucks more than a stationary wall mount. And in my opinion, 50 bucks well spent. So today, we're gonna switch out this wall mount. Let's get started. And guys, don't forget to subscribe to our channel because when you subscribe, you get us one step closer to 100,000 subscribers. This Members Mark full motion wall mount comes with the instruction manual, the wall mount bracket template, a small level and spacers, four large mounting bolts, various TV mounting bracket bolts for different brand TVs, two brackets to mount to the TV, two decorative covers, and the full motion wall bracket. No assembly required. And I'm gonna use the old holes as a guide for the new holes. Whatever you do, make sure to install this bracket into studs. You'll need some drill bits, a drill, and a level. All right. Taped it up, check for level. I'm just gonna use these lines here, the guy length at the bottom. First, I'm gonna drill four small pilot holes using a smaller drill bit. Then I'll go back with a larger drill bit to finish it off. The hole needs to be a little bit smaller than the bolt. You want all four bolts to go in very snug. And these are the bolts we're gonna use to attach the wall mount bracket. There's four of them. So now you wanna hand tighten the bolts at first and then use the ratchet wrench to complete the job. All four bolts should go in very snug. And once all four bolts are tight, the wall bracket should not move at all. All right, all four bolts are in, they're all tight, level. And now we can go ahead and put the bracket on the TV and then hang the TV. So now attach the bracket to the TV. There are various mounting holes on this bracket, which allows you to vertically adjust this TV. Once again, make sure all four bolts are tight. Lucky this TV is pretty light. And this does hooks. Right. Clamp. I'll show you in a second here on the other one. See right here. Like that. You turn that clockwise until you can't turn it anymore. And that locks this TV onto the bracket and it ain't going anywhere. Make sure you lock it real good. Next thing we're gonna do, have me get the net. We're gonna plug that in over there. Get that plugged in. There we go, right, right in there. Barely fit. Lucky. Put the power in right here. 
there, and plug it in up here. here. Now what I can do with these wires, which I will, is I'll hang them on right here. All these wires can be hung onto this so they don't hang down. It looks pretty, it makes it super simple. The best part about this whole thing though is the fact that I can push this in and out. I can move it. If it's crooked, like this way horizontal, you can move. Adjustments, micro adjustments. Looks pretty good. One last thing we want to do though, I didn't do, is put these little brackets on. A little decorative bracket here. Put it right here. It snaps, it just snaps on. Like that, it'll look really pretty. There are several different reasons why a full motion wall mount is better than a stationary wall mount. The first reason is it can pivot. If it can go horizontally, we can come out, we can come really way out. We can also adjust this to where the angle of the TV will come down, like that. Or we can go back up with it, up or down. Also in the back of this TV, we can hang all the wires on the wall mount itself, so nothing's hanging down. So we can push it back easily, all the ways as far as we want to go. And this looks no different than the stationary wall mount. From this angle, you can't even tell it's a full motion wall mount. On the side, you can, might be able to tell a little bit on the side, it sticks out a little further, but that's about it. The only downside to this really is the price. We're looking at around 100 bucks for this, and stationary wall mounts are about 30 bucks, $35. So you're looking at about 50 to 60 bucks to get the upgrade of full motion. I would not recommend buying a stationary wall mount ever. Go ahead and spend the extra 60 bucks, get the full motion wall mount. Make sure that the wall mount that you get will hold up to a 90 inch because someday you may want to upgrade. In here, we're gonna upgrade this TV to a 65 inch probably or 75 inch, which will hold no problem. And I'll have all the links in the description below to where you can buy this wall mount. We did buy this wall mount at Sam's Club and we are not sponsored by Sam's Club yet. But if Sam's Club wants to sponsor us, just let us know. And with that guys, make sure to like, share, subscribe, comment, and for God's sakes, hit the bell icon. And we'll see you in the next video real soon. Peace.